BD5 pilot with you out at the uh, Hillsboro hangar. And uh, yes, I'm back with some more crazy ideas. So there you have it, my uh, new crazy idea. I mean, this alignment is so critical. I created this uh, sh makeshift shaft so I can make sure that my central point for that motor mount is going to attach. It's going to be uh, perfectly straight. So, yeah, see what you can do? Uh, no duct tape and no Velcro, but uh, I did use uh, painter's tape and uh, auto body paint uh, tape as well as a uh, roll from a uh, toilet, toilet paper roll, two of those, and then a paper towel roll. So uh, here's uh, Gwen showing it at its best. So with my uh, crazy contraption, I'm able to determine that uh, it's a little less than an eighth of an inch off uh, and the lateral measurement, the vertical measurement, though, is a little more than an eighth of an inch, less than three sixteenths, but uh, a little more than an eighth of an inch, which kind of surprising, but uh, glad I've got a more accurate number. So uh, I can mark this now and drill the holes in the exact spot they need to be. So I've got my revised uh, measurements on here and notice how I took and put a little black circle around all the places I'm actually going to drill a hole so I don't go drilling a hole I don't need. And now with uh, this critical piece centered and uh, drilled, I can go ahead and start prepping for what lightning holes I put in. So it's going to act as a brace and, and uh, you know part of that bulkhead motor mount, but uh, it does not need to be this bulky and this heavy. So I can go to work trimming that down and then designing the vertical pieces and uh, mounting it into uh, where it will eventually go inside the plane. So while it might not look like I've gotten a lot done, uh, I've actually done a whole bunch of measuring and just a little tiny bit of drilling. BD5 Pilot's out for now.